This fire, the first Bet Mikdash had the fire, the shape of a lion, Ali. And the fire in the second Bet Mikdash, the Butzaki Caliph, was crouched like a dog. Why? Why was it uh, this way? Because the uh, Bet Mikdash, the second Bet Mikdash, was built was built by the Persian king, who was a non-Jew. And the Zohar Kadosh says something very scary that this dog was symbolic of the Sitra Acha, Satan. Telling us that because we did not do full tshuva, part of the Korban is going to the Satan. Meaning the Bet HaMikdash itself, the Bet HaMikdash itself was not fully for Kadosh Baruch Hu. There was control, partial control by the Satan himself on the Bet HaMikdash. Why? who says I didn't destroy the bricks and stones just for you to rebuild them without doing chuba and I didn't do it just for partial chuba I want full chuba and that's what Rabotai Kali is what we're here to say we need full chuba not partial chuba it's good it's a good start but if you think that you can continue with partial chuba, you're making a very big mistake. And the reason why is because somebody that knowingly sins, meaning he has gone to the point where he says, listen, I keep Shabbat, I keep Talat Mishpacha, I keep uh, kosher, I keep this, I keep that, I keep all these different things. But this one particular thing, I'm not going to do it. That thing, not that it's hard for me and I, I, I'm not, I'm struggling with it. No, not that. I'm going to try to do it, but I'm just failing. No, no. This, I'm just not going to do it. It's not for me. Like he decides that this is not something he's going to do. He's not going to learn Torah every day, even though Torah commands it. He's not going to watch his plate, even though Torah says to do it. He's not going to do something Torah says to do it. He says, no, no, this is too much for me. And he decides actively that this is not what he's going to do. But what time? The Rambam writes, such a person is a kofir gamur, you cannot count him in minyan. The Rambam writes something very interesting. In uh, chapter 3, Al-Khan number 4, he writes, when a Jew is a kofir, a pastor, worships false deities, or desecrate Shabbat in public. We do not accept any sacrifices from him at all. Even a burnt offering that is accepted from a goy, from a Gentile, is not accepted from an apostate or a Mechalel Shabbat. As we learned from Leviticus 1-2, which states, Man, uh, from you who will sacrifice. According to the oral tradition, we learn that from you is not from all of you, it excludes the apostate, it excludes the Mechalel Shabbat. But here the Rambam says something very interesting. He says, listen, if you believe in other gods, or you violate Shabbat, the Koban is not accepted. Wait, somebody prays to, let's say, J.C. Penny, or prays to a rabbi, or prays to, I don't know, a picture. Is the same thing as somebody that drives on Shabbat? How could this be? How could this be? The guy's praying to somebody, okay, fine, I understand why he's not he's, Why is the guy that's driving to Shul on Shabbat? Why is he why why is he why is the problem with him? So the Rambam explains in Ilchot Shabbat that someone that violates Shabbat is equivalent 100 percent to an idol worshiper. Because the idol worshiper and him are both desecrating Hashem's name because Shabbat is the cornerstone just of, of, Judy, of the Jewish faith just like believing in, in Hashem is. I am the man who has seen affliction by the rod of his anger. He says, I am the man who saw the worst things in the world. Here we see that Jeremiah was there witnessing all of this. He wasn't just prophesying of, the, prophesying of the future, what could be. He literally witnessed people dying in the streets, millions of them. 
He has placed me in darkness like the eternally dead. He has walled me in so I cannot escape. So what happened when Jeremiah tried to rebuke me? I've become a laughing stock to all my people, object of their jibes all day long. When he tried to tell people the truth, he tried to tell people to keep Shabbat, he tried telling people to do good things, get closer to Hashem so bad things stop. Because there were so many Rishayim, so many wicked speakers, so many fakers that call themselves prophets, it was very hard for people to say, wait a minute, so you're telling me you're one guy that says the truth, but there's 500 that are lying? More likely it's 500 that are telling the truth and you're the liar. And this is just a bad season, it's just bad weather, it's just bad luck, it's just bad this, it's just bad, it's not a shame, it's something else. Because we understand Hashem. Hashem understands us. He knows that we can't do it. He says I've become a laughing stock. Make fun of him in public. When he tried to tell him the truth. So what happens when this happens? Jeremiah tells them, you're forgetting that Hashem is Hashem and not just some person. In verse number 37 he says, Says, whose decree was ever fulfilled unless the Lord ordained it? Is it not from the mouth of the Most High that evil and good emanate? Of what shall a living man, man complain? A strong man for his sins. Let us search and examine our ways and return to Hashem. He says, all of the stuff that's happening, everything is coming from Hashem. Don't ever think anything that's happening in the world is coming from somewhere else. Whoever said something and did the opposite of what Hashem wants it without Hashem allowing it to happen. Meaning anything and everything that happens in the world, Hashem signs off on it. You want to make a sin? Hashem will allow you to do it. You want to make a mitzvah? Hashem will allow you to do it. There's a hurricane? It's Hashem. There's a financial crisis? It's Hashem. There's cancer, it's Hashem. That's what Prophet Jeremiah says. Where was God during the Holocaust? It's Hashem. Choban Bet HaMikdash, Hashem. Everything is Hashem. That's what Jeremiah is saying. Instead of complaining, he says, what are you complaining about? You should only complain about your own sins, he says. Let's search and examine our ways and return to Hashem. All of these bad things are only happening because we're disconnected from Hashem.